Hi, Bruce from Safari, and we're in front of this Ram. You can see it's uh, Matt. We're going to meet him in a minute here. Uh, brand new urban van here, and we just put a bucket load of power and solar in here. Let's say hello to Matt and Tanya. Hi, guys. How are you today? Hi, Bruce. Good. Now, we've put a bucket load of power up here, in both in the batteries and on, on the roof and the solar. Tanya, you go first. Why have you put so much power in here? Well, we didn't, we wanted gasless. We just wanted um, to be off grid, but not have to worry about, um, you know, having to plug into power and everything. We didn't want the hassle of gas, um, just wanted a nice, simple setup that we can use our aircon yeah, all night. I can run um, hair straighteners if I need to, hair dryer if I need to, and we have enough power to last us without worrying at all. And we can be off grid away from caravan parks, living the life. <laughs> and you certainly can. So you've got 6,000 plus the solar on the roof when it's pumping in, you get at least 1,500, that's 7,500 watts. So you can run the double inductions and everything else. Matt, what about you? What's your take on it all? Yeah, we were chasing the power so we could stay off grid indefinitely, um, come through Safari so we can get the lighting, digital switching and everything. Um, uh -huh. Just the magic of being able to be able to use that when you're reversing into a campsite, you don't have to get out of a car, get into the caravan, turn it on, just simply push a button and... Yep, and there's, there's the lights coming on. Yeah, yeah, it's just incredible. So you can have one in the car, one in the yep. van, of course. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it makes it very, very convenient. So, and you did something clever with that extension on the back, which I'll film. Yeah, we took basically everything we could off the roof to maximize the available roof space. Um, we were still a little bit short on what I figured we'd need for the battery system we had. So we came up and just put a rear wing on, a rear spoiler. We got it um, drawn up, made, and it's been bolted on now and it's worked a treat. It's added the extra room for the solar panels we needed for charging the batteries and keeping them going. It's excellent. Right, let me walk inside. I'm going to show everyone the result of the fit out. And uh, so there's the inverter down there, which is a 6000. And here is one group of batteries. And there's the other group. They're all accessible outside. There's the aircon running away down there, and then uh, we've got Scotty over here providing all the 12 volt power, and uh, the solar controllers are over there. Matt's also got uh, three portable panels as well that can run. 